Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be an energy check-in love reading for my dearest Leos. Leo, we're going to take a look at the person most on your mind or your current situation. And if these messages resonate with you, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's see what clear messages and guidance come through. For my dearest Leos, <laughs> the Empress wanted out. Okay, so Divine Feminine Energy, Libra, Taurus Energy. Ooh, your person, Knight of Pentacles in reverse. And they're viewing you as the Knight of Cups in reverse. What you're not seeing is the Star card. And we have the Seven of Cups. Okay, Leos, so you've got somebody who I think you're both kind of wondering a lot about each other or maybe wondering about this connection. I'm kind of seeing two people who are not so sure about compatibility or not so sure about like is, you know, are there, are you dealing with other options? Wow. Yeah. Four of wands. This is possibly a divine counterpart situation, Leo, but it's interesting. The energy is you're not too sure about each other. That's kind of what I'm getting. Now, of course, it could be somebody that you're in separation from, you're currently dealing with, or it could be somebody completely brand new. But I feel like the Empress energy, Leo, this person is seeing you this way. Like this person definitely sees you as all that and more. Um, but they're not so sure that like if you're a player, if you have other options or if you're with somebody else, but there's potential for marriage and commitment or reconciliation here with that four of wands. Let's see. We have the queen of cups in reverse and we have the world card. All right. So for some of you, they're waiting for you to let go of possibly a water sign. Um, for others of you, you know, they may be just waiting for you to close out a cycle where you're healing. Um, maybe I also feel too, you know, you could be dealing with some considerable drama. Now this could be you, this could be them, but I feel like they really like the way you conduct yourself. Um, maybe they're waiting to close out a situation with this queen of cups because she's kind of emotionally manipulative. I'm also seeing too, you know, it could be somebody that causes a lot of drama in your life or theirs or like an ex or something like that. But I'm also really getting to this person's not quite ready to give to this connection, Leo, because they're not so sure about you. Okay. And it doesn't necessarily mean you're doing anything wrong, but it could just be somebody if they have like strong Virgo in their chart or Capricorn or Taurus or something like that. It's like they want to have all the details. They want to know as much as they can before they invest. So I see with the Knight of Pentacles, this person's not taking action. They're not communicating. All right. And we see the Seven of Swords. They might be a secret admirer. Okay. So they might just not be so sure about like letting you know how they feel. And we get the nine of wands energy in reverse, but they want to communicate. And I feel like they, they have these like really strong feelings for you, Leo. But again, they're hiding them. They're holding back because they're not so sure. They may be trying to figure out if you're a player or if you have other options or you're involved with somebody else or, you know, see if you're really, truly compatible. So I feel this person's definitely doing their research, Leo. You've definitely struck a chord with them, but in a really positive way. Like they've, I feel them crushing on you really hard. All right. Now they see you as, okay. So they might see you as holding back. Maybe they know that you're healing here, Leo, from this queen of cups in reverse situation, or, you know, you have an ex around you or something. I kind of feel Leo, like you might have somebody, whether you were loosely dealing with them or an ex that maybe is like trying to sabotage not just this connection, but doesn't want anybody else to get near you. So I don't know, maybe they try, like they still post pictures of you too, or they, I don't know, they just try to sabotage you from moving on. That's kind of a, kind of a, a nasty energy there I'm picking up on from that person. All right. Nine of swords. See, yeah, this person might be a little bit worried that you've got a karmic situation around you, or you're not completely done with someone. Like I said, this is somebody who's most likely a secret admirer. So they could be a friend. They could be a coworker. They could just be checking you out online, but they're not sure you're available, Leo. Okay. So if you like this person, just, you know, let them know that you're single. Um, what you're not seeing is the star card, which Leo tells me a lot tells me that you've got some sort of wish fulfillment, some sort of divine assistance here. You're on the right path. A lot of you, you're manifesting this two of pentacles, but you do have choices. You do have options. And maybe this person sees you getting a lot of attention, Leo. All right. Um, but let's see. And this person kind of goes back and forth about whether or not they should tell you how they're feeling. 
Yeah, because they're protecting their energy. The, and, and I'm just getting the same message repeating. You've got somebody who may be a little bit of an overthinker. They're very, very detail-oriented, but they're trying to figure out if this is too risky or not for them to reach out to you or, you know, to take this leap of faith. The Seven of Cups tells me, I feel like you both spend a lot of time thinking about each other, wondering about this connection. Um, it could be an online thing because with the Seven of Cups, that can be my online dating card. Um, but it also tells me, Leo, you have a lot of options. I may just be picking up on one of them. Seven of Cups in reverse. You've got a soulmate on your, on your path, somebody who's crushing on you. And the Four of Swords, they are going to step up and take action. All right, but we have the Eight of Swords. You've got somebody who is stuck in their head right now. And it's really kind of like holding, they're holding back because of it. So like I said, Leo, if you're single, don't forget to act single. I also feel like this could be somebody who's crushing on you, like I said, at work, in the community, at school, at the gym. Um, so, you know, take it, you know, pick your head up, look around, see who might be checking you out. All right, so let's see. So this is... This person wants stability and security, and they need to be very secure before they make a move. They could be a friend who wants to be more. Again, you might meet this person. You might get coffee at the same place. Maybe you work together. Maybe they bring you coffee or something like that. And yeah, we got self-absorbed, one-sided relationship, and love bombing. I'm not getting that, that this is from this person. I feel like this person is trying to figure you out, Leo. And I know you might not like this message, but I think they're tr they're worried, you know, that you get a lot of attention, that, you know, maybe, you know, a lot of people are crushing on you or giving you a lot of attention. I mean, who wouldn't? Um, but maybe they're just trying to figure out, like, are you really truly compatible? Because they're definitely taken by you. Um, I'm also feeling with the, the golden mirror energy, it's possible this person has been really burned in the past by some sort of, like, narcissist or some sort of you know, one-sided relationship. So again, I'm picking up on them being really cautious. I also get another message here, Leo. You have to be careful if you have somebody around you that you're not, that likes you more than you like them, just be careful because they might be trying to sabotage people coming towards you. Like you might even have somebody that, you know, is telling people that you're together when you're not or like something kind of nasty, like you've slept together when you haven't, or maybe if you did, but it's, you know, it's over. Just be careful because I'm, I feel like there's somebody that doesn't want you to move on or doesn't want you to get together with anybody else, but it's not the energy in this reading. It might be this queen of cups energy. Spirit's telling you that get ready for a new phase. You know, your love life might really transform here. But this person has to get out of their head. And there's not a whole lot that you can do to make them do that, right? So it's really about just focusing on you, living your best life, raising your vibration. You know, a lot of my Leos, I feel like maybe you have recently gotten out of a connection and you're kind of just, you know, getting back to getting back to you. And that's a beautiful energy. But I do feel there's a, there's a lot of potential with this person who's kind of stuck in their head right now, right? Like you make them nervous. Um, but they also want to, I feel like they really want to do things right because they are looking for something serious um, and they don't want to make any sort of mistakes. So in that sense, I, I get why they're a little bit wish-washy right now. So we have lessons of Neptune, denial, illusion, and deception of self or by another. Self-love, boundaries, and detachment are important. Seems to be a theme in my readings about really letting go of past people so that this new energy to move towards you. So let go of anybody who's been holding you back or any one-sided relationships. I also feel with this Neptunian energy of illusion, be careful because you might have an ex or somebody who's crushing on you that you don't want to be with, who's trying to sabotage you, your reputation or doesn't really want to let you move forward. All right. Set your intentions high, Leo, and know you deserve to receive love, joy, and happiness. Yeah. All right. And we attract soulmates based on lessons we need for growth. Is this hindering or supporting you? Okay, so a little bit of reflection on who you've been. You know, we attract a little bit of everything. It's more telling the energy that we allow into our life. So just take a look at, you know, any repeating patterns and love for you. I feel like, you know, there might be a little bit of delay here because you do have somebody who's, you know, maybe a little bit drained, somebody who's definitely crushing on you, but somebody who's a little bit unsure about taking that leap of faith. And your job is to just, you know, is to focus on you. But I see that there's a lot of potential here, Leo. 
Again, you also have somebody from your past that doesn't want to let you go or wants reconciliation. Um, Spirit is telling us that there's too much distance to maintain this connection. So again, if this person doesn't step up, you know, the connection, you know, they may miss an opportunity here or the opportunity of a lifetime. But I, I feel like they are going to step up. I kind of feel this distance energy is more about that past connection that you're moving away from. Okay, so let's see what this energy I'm picking up on, this newer energy. What is it that they'd like to say to my Leos? What do they want to say to my Leos? I need security. Yep, yeah. and that's coming out twice. This person needs to be really sure before they make a decision. And that's what's taking them. That's what's taking some time here. I wish I could share my good news with you. So they do want to talk. I feel like you might make this person quite nervous. And I love you unconditionally. Ooh, they have some deep feelings for you. And I want to feel that way again. So I feel like this person definitely wants, you know, I feel like they've probably been in a higher level of commitment. And I most likely they've taken a lot of time to just sort of recover, to heal. But I feel like they're ready. But they just want to make sure that they, you know, they choose wisely and they definitely have their eye on you, Leo. Okay, but again, just be just be careful of that, like an ex or like somebody who likes you more than you like them, sabotaging, I don't know, like it feels like your reputation or like telling people you're together when you're not. All right, so Spirit's advice for you is your higher self is guiding you to make mistakes so you can learn important lessons. Yeah, so you've, you've learned some tough lessons here, Leo. You know, um, so if, Spirit's also telling you, make sure you're not repeating those lessons. And what you allow will continue. So your boundaries are currently being challenged. So you may learn the art of saying no and remember your power. So some of you need to put up really strong boundaries with an ex, especially somebody that you've been like, if you've had an off and on relationship with them, it's time to cut it off, Leo. Because I like this energy of this person who's in their head about you because it's like they want to do things right, but they also just need to make sure that, you know, that, that you're available and and I feel like that's a mature a mature energy okay so anyway I'm gonna leave it here Leos I'm sending you so much love and light if these messages resonate don't forget to hit that like button share subscribe and check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading or if you like the cards I'm using or if you want to follow me on TikTok and Instagram love and light Leos take care